the Fox 51 today. Hypertension is a huge problem for millions of Americans, but usually you wouldn't think of this happening during sleep. That's supposed to be a peaceful time of the day. <laughs> Dr. R.V. Gouguet with the Sleep Medicine Institute of Texas is here to explain this to us. Okay, so talk to us today about hypertension during sleep time. How does this happen? Uh, Rachel, normally pe people who have normal blood pressure and good sleep mm -hmm. do actually have reduction in blood pressure during sleep. So a normal person's blood pressure normally goes down by 20 to 30 percent while they're sleeping mm -hmm. as the cardiovascular system also rests. Mm. In people with sleep disorders, when the brain starts uh, waking up or arousing out of sleep because of these sleep disorders, there can actually be a stimulation of the adrenergic system and pumping adrenaline can cause increase in blood pressure and increase in heart rate instead of decrease in blood pressure and decrease in heart rate that is normal. Mm. That's very interesting. So variety, I, 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 you know, not a sleep apnea comes to mind that can cause that because if you stop breathing then then the heart rate goes up, I know, from personal experience, unfortunately. But uh, what other sleep issues, is it a whole host of them that can cause the hypertension? Certainly, Robert. I think you have uh, um, opened up a, a very important piece of conversation. If you look at brain arousals and increase in blood pressure, there's a very good relationship between brain arousals, pumping adrenaline, and r a, a rise in blood pressure. Any sleep disorder that is repetitive, such as apnea and gasping from apnea, mm -hmm. or periodic limb movements of sleep, leg jerks during sleep, seizures during sleep, even things like teeth grinding that may cause brain arousals can theoretically increase blood pressure. Mm. Well, now this hypertension during sleep, um, you know, obviously we're asleep at the time that it's happening. Are there any signs that we can look for, though, to know if this is happening to us? Certainly. Um, if someone has hypertension mm -hmm. and they are placed on treatment for it with a medication, if their blood pressure refuses to go down, mm -hmm. becomes difficult to control with one, two, three medications, one must suspect that there could be a sleep disorder that is in the mix there. Mm -hmm. Patients can develop headaches when they wake up in the morning as a consequence of increased blood pressure during sleep. Hmm. So those are two common indicators, really. Now, can some heart issues bring on sleep disorders, or how, how are those related possibly? Certainly. Um, sleep apnea is a common cause of uh, hypertensive heart disease, congestive heart failure, cardiac arrhythmias, and coronary artery disease. At the same time, conditions like congestive heart failure, which decrease the circulation to the brain, can cause the brain to not want you to breathe. We call it central sleep apnea or chain stokes respiration. Wow. Who knew all this? This is very, very interesting. Now, you know, now you have a way, uh, it's a new non-invasive way to check for hypertension. What exactly is that? Sure. We have a um, sleep uh, technology now in our sleep center that allows us to record blood pressure from the patient while they're sleeping and doing their sleep study without having to put a cuff on their arm and having to wow. pump it up every minute. And the best part of it is you can actually see the correlation of the apnea with the increase in blood pressure and increase in heart rate. Wow. Learn something new every time it with Dr. Gouday. This is very yes. fascinating. Now, if you want to find out more information, sleeptyler.com is a great place to go. Thank you so much for stopping by this morning, Dr. Gouday. Thank you, Rachel and Rob.